Hello and welcome back to another DIY video. Before we get started, make sure you give me a thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on the bottom right hand corner. We're going to be installing the Dynavin 8 head unit on my Porsche Cayman 987. This is what this bad boy looks like right here. If you've been looking to upgrade your head unit, this could be a great opportunity to pick something like this up. If you're um, wanting to keep it more of an OEM look, which is what I'm trying to achieve, there's really only two options. The one that I just purchased, and of course you can do the PCCM version, which is about $1,600. But let's see how this goes, because again, I'm trying to go for more of a, a stock look. So the head unit I have right now is, it is aftermarket. I don't really like it though, it's just really slow, but you see the, the gray trim color around it? Uh, I'm just trying to keep it, again, stock looking. So this isn't going to be the normal DIY because honestly I don't have all the tools remember or memorized at this point. I'm um, just kind of, some of this is off of memory, but um, again we're going to be taking off that head unit right there. From this side. Alright, get this down. So there's an, a fastener right here. This is a T25. Okay, now you have these. Over here, Torx 25. Lighting is key here, so just make sure you have really good lighting so you don't round off one of these fasteners. But once you, again, take off the one that was holding this little panel down here, the two right here, now this should just slide that way. Let me try to pull this off. I think it's something holding it down. Plastic pry tool. So now you're going to pretty much do the exact same thing on the other side. Alright, now I'm going to pull off this little wedge piece right here. It just helps it kind of sit flush, put that somewhere safe. Now, if you have an OEM head unit, you get a light. If you have an OEM head unit, you might, there's a little fastening right here. I don't have it on mine because mine's already aftermarket. But for the original Porsche headlight, excuse me, head unit, there should be a fastener right here, a nut. It's an aligned bolt. It'll be on both sides. You just unscrew it. I believe it's an 8 millimeter. So take that one off on both sides. Again, I don't have it on mine though. Next, I'm going to get a flat blade screwdriver. I'm just going to wedge it right there in the middle. Kind of literally just kind of pry it open just a little bit. Then I get a plastic one. And just inch it along. Inch it along. You probably see it moving right there. So I'm still working at it right here. I had to order these custom, not even custom, but these are Kenwood head unit keys because I didn't have a tool to pry it in there. I'm still trying to work off this, this uh, face, but I'm going to remove my climate control right here just so I get a little bit more access. I don't destroy my buttons or anything. To remove this, there's uh, this button right here on the side. It's on both sides, but you just push it in and you slowly pull it off and you see the red and the black harness right there. You just put, uh, squeeze them together and disconnect it. There's no way for you to really mess the uh, mess this up either, just because um, those harnesses they only go in one way. But I'm gonna keep at it. All right, so those Kenwood uh, keys that I shared with you a moment ago, I bought off Amazon when I was prying them in here, it did nothing. So the easiest way to do this is you take you get a flat blade screwdriver. You see this little wedge right there. 
you just kind of put it in there twist it backwards like this and you can get this lip and this is how I did it I went like this twist and literally just kept inching it along those this lip on both sides and eventually this right here you just got to give it a little tug and when you give it that tug it kind of you know pops out like that so now you should be able to slide the whole cage out when you slide the cage out obviously disconnect the harnesses behind it all right so i'm obviously not a professional but what i'm doing is i'm just cross checking the new head unit right here i'm just looking at the output input um component cables all that good stuff and i'm just going to compare it with the harnesses that were included here and i want to try to match it to what's in the car um, it'd be pretty hard to mess it up just because the harnesses only go in one direction is what it looks like and of course you have directions right here so i'm going to try to sort that out here sort that out here in just a moment so i'm just going through the instructions you'll notice these two harnesses right here it ends in the 54b or the 54a one of these are going to plug into the moss box right here most box the ps i just need to go into the car now and see which one i have I don't have the Bose sound system, so I'm going to say mine is the one without the fiber optic cable. All right, so quick update. It looks like my 987 base model, I'm going to be, without the Bose system, I'm going to be using this one right here, ending in the 54A as in Apple. So what we're going to do, if you look at this little harness insert right here at the bottom, we're literally just going to try to match this harness with the one that's in my car right here. So you'll see what I mean in just a moment. So you see this little orange brown one right here? You'll see it um, purple, purple stripe, gray, gray stripe, white, and green. And if you look at the harness, that's going to be this right here. So um, green, green, white, white, gray, gray, purple, purple. So we're going to take it off here and plug it into, uh, what is that? This middle slot right there. And then same thing with that black one. I'm going to line up the colors. It's likely going to plug in right here. All right, so quick update. Go look at it right there. This is the transfer. This is what I pulled it off of. I don't know what all of this extra right here is hooked up to. I'm not going to cut it off because I don't know what it is. I think it might be the original wiring harness for the Kenwood system, but I'm not 100% sure. So again, I'm not going to I'm not going to cut it off. I'm just going to tuck it away in there. But let's keep going. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and plug this little white harness right here into this white one goes into this big spot right here. These, the, obviously the uh, aux in, aux out goes into whichever you're trying to do. I'm going to put mine to where it says front. And there should be one more guy. So this little guy right here should fit into this slot right here. I'm just going to plug it in first just to make sure everything looks good. Um, I, already went to put, I went ahead and put on my Bluetooth antenna. If you're going to hook your HDMI up or if you're going to do a microphone or anything like that, now would be the time to put it in. Um, I mainly just want mine for CarPlay, so let's give it a shot. All right, so I'm about to hook everything up officially. So there's the wire harness. These are going to be the two USB cords. Uh, following the directions, it says to part, put the RC cables to the slots that say front. I went ahead and put in the mic right here, wireless Bluetooth extender. This is going to be for the GPS tracker, or I'm sorry, GPS, I assume antenna. And I need a, this little black one right here. So I'm going to this one right there for the FM tuner. And then we'll power it up and see how it all looks. All right, it's a moment of truth. I have everything plugged back in there already. Let's go ahead and crank it up. <clears throat> Very cool. I'm just checking audio and all the speakers. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in reverse. Reassemble it, I mean, all back in reverse. It looks really good. The only thing that's kind of off is that obviously this is brand new, so it doesn't exactly match, but that's not really a product issue. That's just a uh, normal wear and tear issue. All right, so this uh, DIY is officially done. I am pleased to share that it uh, turned out very, very well. Um, this is, I think this is actually probably the only DIY video I've seen online. Again, this is just going to be if you want to update your 987 to make it more modern uh, you can actually do android play along with carplay with this uh, device um, again i went with this device just because the pccm version is about sixteen hundred dollars and this one i believe is nine hundred dollars but if you follow this video follow the channel you can actually use my link to um, the link i'll put in the description below you, you'll get a discount when you're using my promo code you get about fifty dollars off 
uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, if you like this, make sure you give me the thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on the bottom right hand corner, and I will see you on the next one. Oh, I guess I should add, um, would I recommend that you do this at home by yourself? It is pretty easy. I mean, the only struggle I had mainly was going to be taking off the aftermarket Ken Kenwood head unit, head unit I already had in there. If you have the original OEM, it should be a lot quicker than what I did. But uh, that's it. Thanks.